What's good with it, Black Goose TV family? I got the double salutes going your way. You already know what time it is, man. We coming at you with another reaction video. Y'all can see it right here, right now. We got Andy Ruiz reacting to the supposed beef between Canelo, Eddie Reynoso, and Ryan Garcia. Now, I hate bringing up Eddie Reynoso's name because obviously, man, he ain't saying nothing. He ain't talking about nobody. You know what I'm saying? He's not even in the mix. But Obviously, Canelo's been defending him, or at least supposedly feeling the need to defend him because he feels like Eddie Reynoso has been attacked by Ryan Garcia and his team. So we're going to get into all that. I'm very interested to see what, you know what I'm saying, Andy Ruiz has to say, even though deep down, personally, <laughs> excuse me on that, y'all, I know for a fact Andy Ruiz definitely didn't address this. Like, I know this is clickbait. So this is a disclaimer right now. If y'all come up in here, I know, this is, I know this right here. I know this is clickbait. I know Andy Ruiz... As nice of a guy as he is, he definitely made sure not to cross any T's and not to dot any I's. He don't want no confusion. He don't want to mix no bullshit. He don't want to make no enemies. You know, he was definitely down the middle when it came to whatever he said. So I know he didn't say anything controversial. I know he didn't say anything where he was like, damn. But even with that being the case, I'm still going to watch this joint because I'm like, yo, shit. Even I'm going to watch it by myself. I'm going to watch it with the Black Goose TV family. And then also, too, y'all know, you know what I'm saying? I'm dropping other reaction videos. I also dropped another video. I'm not sure, you know what I'm saying, how I'm going to release the order. But Andrew Ruiz is speaking on, you know, not being with Eddie Reynoso in this current camp. So, look, let's just give y'all a real quick rundown of everything because y'all already know what's happening. But Canelo has some words from Ryan Garcia lately. He basically said, yo, you, you shouldn't be talking about me. You ain't win no championship at 20. I was a world heavy. You know what I'm saying? I was a world. I was holding a, uh, I was holding a belt. I was about to say world heavyweight. My bad. I'm, I'm looking at Andy Ruiz. But he was like, man, I was holding a belt at 154 at 20 years old. You know what I'm saying? I fought Hatton. I gave him that work. Matthew Hatton, if I believe the name was correct. Um, I, I, at 20 years old, and I was a world title holder. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia said, yo, look. I would have loved to fight somebody as weak as you fought, but there's nobody like that in my division. Anybody I got to fight for a belt is that real deal, and I have to work my way up to it. So, cool. You sound great saying you got a belt at 20, but who the fuck you get the belt from and who you fight at that point? But at the same time, as much as that is true, as much as that is, you know, correct, regardless of how you feel about Ryan Garcia, uh, Canelo didn't end up fighting the who's who's. But it just, you know, it all can be about timeline, man, because I'm like, at the end of the day, People can come at Ryan Garcia and say, why you keep bringing these things up? You're lazy, all this different shit. You didn't want to work with Eddie Reynoso, but people just don't want to, you know, ask. People don't want to address the fact that why did Frank Sanchez leave? Why did Virgil Ortiz Jr. leave? And why did Andy Ruiz leave? Andy Ruiz never spoke on it. Ortiz Jr., he somewhat spoke on it and said he didn't have enough time for him in the gym, but it wasn't, you know, obviously put out there in the media and the public as much as the Ryan Garcia shit because Garcia is a much bigger name. And then Frank Sanchez, he, you know, basically he he was very uh, considerate in how he responded to why he left the Eddie Reynoso camp where it made it seem as if there wasn't no bad blood or it made it seem like, you know, maybe there was a neglect in the camp when obviously you don't just leave somebody you've been with for a long period of time. And then all of a sudden someone new comes to the camp. You see what they're doing. It's like, I want to roll with them. Because from my knowledge, Frank Sanchez and Ryan Garcia never met until Ryan Garcia came and worked with Eddie Reynoso. And if for some reason Sanchez went to go ahead and move over with Ryan Garcia and move along with Joe Goosen, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. All you Canelo fanboys, get out your fucking feelings. Go do something real with your life. You feel me? Go, go, go train in a boxing gym or go train in any gym. Put your heart and soul into something. And then all of a sudden, that trainer tells you on the day you're ready to work out. He says, well, you know, my highest paid client, I know I didn't tell you this before. I know we, so think about this. You've been putting in the work. You've been going crazy for three weeks in, right? We're always used to working out on Saturday. I hit up my, you know, my trainer that I'm paying money for. Hey, yo, we're going to be there Saturday. We good? He randomly hits me 30 minutes before the workout. Hey, yo, I know we've been working crazy. I know we've been doing a lot of good work, but my highest paid client, he just texted me and said, yo, I want to work out at this time. Unfortunately, that you know, it, it goes into the time that I was supposed to work you out in. So as much as I want to work you out, but can we reschedule? Because I got to make sure this, you know, my highest paid client is right. That's basically what it is. Like, y'all act like business isn't part of boxing. And that's why I'd be like, a lot of y'all boxing fans be weird ass niggas. I'm going to go on a rant right now. And I hope this this particular video, I hope this shit drops. And y'all, a lot of y'all niggas hate me or whatever the case may be. Or y'all don't watch this. You got a lot of shit to say. I don't really give a fuck. A lot of y'all boxing fans is weird. Because I'm like, nigga, boxing is business. Boxing is money first and foremost. And so a lot of y'all niggas act like y'all don't be working every day and trying to get a bag. Like, don't y'all weird ass niggas know there's a conflict in interest 
with Eddie Reynoso paying more attention to new fighters coming in and not paying attention to Canelo, Canelo was his biggest bag. So it makes complete sense that if he has a new fighter coming in, if he doesn't bring in the same amount of revenue, why would I give you all my attention, my nigga? If you ever been in a boxing gym, when you coming up and doing your thing, no trainer gives you individual attention unless you're paying significant amount of money for it. Boxing is a very individual type of sport when it comes to preparing for it. And that's when, like, when I be reading a lot of y'all boxing fans, I'm like, oh, y'all, y'all sit on the couch, y'all eat Lay's chips. You feel me? Y'all watch these other, like, I was watching, I can't remember what YouTube channel, but I was watching some weird ass YouTube channel. They was criticizing how Ryan Garcia hit the bag and that it was sloppy. How the fuck can you criticize how a professional boxer hits a bag? Nigga, you hit the bag, nigga. You don't even, like, niggas, be, like, people be crazy, bro. People be crazy. That's like me seeing somebody create a video game and being like, mm, you should have you made the graphics this much better. I don't know how to do it, but I can criticize because it's easy. How can somebody criticize a professional boxer like Ryan Garcia, his bag work? And I think I remember the YouTube channel name. I'm not going to shout it out because it's a very popular uh, uh, a YouTube channel. I enjoy watching it, but y'all be on bullshit because nigga, you posted videos where you be on the bag and you don't know how to fight for shit. But because you watch this shit so much, you think you have and, and you get paid for it, you can criticize a professional boxer and how they hit a heavy bag and say it's sloppy. Nigga, you are dumb. But that's the world we live in, right? The world we live in is we reward a lot of you pencil pushers, a lot of you niggas who will never put yourself in the trenches. A lot of you niggas will never uh, 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 go outside and run five and a half miles, nigga, on hills and after do like 12 rounds. Y'all would never do that shit to yourself, but you'll criticize a nigga who does it and be like, you don't really put in that work like that. All that shit is cap. That's the world we live in. Y'all weird. Y'all weird ass niggas. And I hope all my Black Goose TV family members, y'all ain't weird niggas. And if y'all is, it is what it is. But goddamn. Go put yourself through some shit that you don't want to put yourself through other than work. Shit where no one's sitting there and saying that you will own, like, where someone's like, ah, you, if you don't do this, you won't survive. You don't have that. Literally. You don't have no one telling you that in your ear. You're just doing it based off the, 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 the aspect of, I want to do this and I'm going to be better than the other person. You can never put yourself in that motherfucking uh, mindset. And that's why sports are so big because. We can criticize all we want. It's very easy to criticize, but it's very hard to put ourselves in the same mentality as the person we're criticizing. Because as soon as we do that, all the criticism goes away. Because then we understand the capabilities a human has to be to be able to do what they're doing. So I went on a rant. I didn't expect it to be a rant. I didn't expect it to go this long. We eight minutes in. I haven't reacted to it. So a lot of y'all probably be like, man, you is on bullshit. I want y'all to come crazy at me because I don't give a fuck because I'm tired of y'all weird ass niggas. I'm tired of y'all lazy ass niggas. I'm tired of y'all motherfuckers who don't know shit having a conversation and criticizing shit and critiquing shit. And it's like, why should I listen to anything from you? All you got going for you, you got hella subscribers and you entertain it. But nigga, if I were to put you out there on that backyard, nigga, and see what you're doing on the heavy bag, nigga, you got five minutes in you. Weird ass, weird ass niggas. But y'all love them weird ass niggas, so it's all good, man. Maybe I need to be a weird nigga so y'all can follow me more, but whatever. Let's go into this motherfucking reaction video. I know this shit went way longer than I was supposed to because I went on a crazy ass rant. Y'all gonna either hate it, y'all either gonna love it. You know what I'm saying? On the 50 Cent the game side of the game, you know what I'm saying? Y'all probably won't even get that reference because that's some old nigga shit. But uh, let's get to Andy Ruiz reacting to Canelo and Ryan, Gar uh, Ryan Garcia beef and see what he has to say. But you already know he's gonna play both sides. Let's get it. Hello, guys. Nice on September 4th. I know he's working hard. I'm working hard. I know he might say. Say stuff, but you know what? I don't talk shit about nobody, bro. Even the people that I don't fight, I don't believe on nada. I just I stay in my own lane and I focus on me, you know? Yeah. I don't be talking shit. Oh, I'm gonna fuck him up, I'm gonna do this, that. I don't like to. And, and he's, he's tall, but you're used to fighting guys taller than you. I think like... I'm better at fighting taller guys. Yeah. You're used to fight tall guys, that's what you're used to in your whole life. Yeah. What have you ever been shorter than you, Andy? Parola was one of the shortest guys that I fought. <laughs> um, he's about your height. He's around there. Yeah. Yeah. Mexicans yeah. are not tall. And they're not heavy. It's hard, it's hard fighting Mexicans because they don't give up, bro. <laughs> Shit, they don't give up. You seen, you seen uh, the Gervonta versus Isaac Cruz fight. That's a good one, huh? 
gonna do a really good one. No, no, the, the, when they fought, it was a good fight, huh? Yeah. Nigga ain't even see the fight, Cap. What'd you think of? of yeah, that's gonna, gonna be a role? good one. Yeah. No, they already I fought. It was a good oh fight. yeah, that was a good I fight. Think was doing good. I think he should have boxed him around and let him come to him, you know. Mm -hmm. But I even when when he came, I did a prediction. I said that even that he opens up too much, mm -hmm. and I, I knew that's when he was gonna counter punch him and get him. Maybe he was doing too good for his own good, and got he got a little too like, like. Um, you got always gotta be cautious, bro. You always gotta be cautious, and because you gotta expect something coming back. Yeah. Especially with these lefties, guys, and it's exactly what I gotta do on September fourth. Be cautious and and do my thing. You ever knows with the interviews like Ryan's Ryan's faster? You, do you think he, he has the advantage there, like slightly because maybe he sees a little faster than most fighters that Javante has fought? Like, be, I think once we get tested with the with the good guys, I think Ryan's talent. I think Ryan's talent is gonna show more. Ryan, he's hella good. Yeah, I know all the. They're on him right now. Of him and Canelo. Yeah. And like I said, I stay in my own lane. I don't yeah. like to talk you, about anything. Are you surprised it went that it's gotten that this bad, like this far, this bad, or huh? Are you surprised it's gotten this far, this bad? Because you were in that gym, you know how how close they could have gotten or whatnot, you know. Yeah, and the gym is good too, you know. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna go back or do anything like that. I got love for all of them. Yeah. You go boy to that whole question. They never showed me any you. disrespect or nothing. And yeah, I got love for Eddie and Canelo all the way through. But I don't know, Ryan. They're I don't know. They're all on their own little, their own little world. But I mean, Ryan doesn't know nobody. He, he has his own little team. He got the talent. So okay, I want to speak a little bit on that, on what Eddie Ruiz said. It wasn't as genuine as I thought it was. Because I know, man, me personally, when I deal with bitches and I'm doing really good, if a bitch say, oh, he got his own little thing going on, they talking shit. So it was it's, it's interesting to see Andy Ruiz speak on Ryan Garcia, and he was very cool about it, but he was still very, you know, there were, there were shots. There were shots there. Him saying he got his own little team, his own little thing going on. You can tell he's kind of siding with the Canelo side of the game. But it's weird because it's like, Andy, that nigga did the same shit as you. Like, you went... You had your own, you built your own gym, your own people, your own training people, and you was like, that was that's what works for you. Ryan Garcia, maybe he's not on the he, he didn't get paid the same amount of money you got paid for your Anthony Joshua fight, but there are two fights, but he went to Joe Goosen and he, and he surrounded people that really work with him. So how are you gonna talk about his little team and belittle him? Like me personally, I saw that like I, I could see a passive aggressive nigga from a from a mile away because like I'm one of them niggas. I can be passive aggressive to the motherfucker. So Ruiz's statements was mad passive aggressive. It was it was mad hate toward Ryan. And I just don't understand it because I'm like, Ruiz, you did the same thing. It's just he was quiet about it. Not only that, Garcia is a bigger name than you, nigga. And he's younger. He's 23 years old. But I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna let y'all decide because this, this this video was already longer than I you know wanted it to be because I ran it in the beginning. I expect that to be a rant. So hopefully I enjoyed the, the content tonight, man. I appreciate y'all as always, man. Love y'all, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Comment, like, notification, man. I'm Schwartz, nigga. Side of the game. I'll be back with more boxing.